place, you may have a peppermint. <laughs> Yum, do you like peppermint? Hey guys, it's Alicia with Rooted Deep Farm, and today we're talking fall gardens. So it is the 4th of July here in Zone 5B in Kansas where I am gardening. So it's really hot, <laughs> and I am sitting under this nice little mulberry tree. We're going to enjoy some shade here today and talk about some things that you can plant in your fall garden. Okay, so I want to get right to the meat of this video. I am going to have just a list of things that you can plant in your fall garden, and I'm going to break it down into three categories. The first is going to be very frost tender plants, and so these are going to be things that either die or are very damaged by any frost. And the second category is going to be semi hardy plants and so these plants will be able to tolerate a light frost but if it's a really harsh frost and it gets really really cold um, they'll probably have some issues and the third category is very hardy plants and so these are plants that are going to be able to withstand several frosts um, and a couple of them probably can even overwinter and so um, you could leave them in the garden and they may even survive through the winter and come back in the spring and put on new growth in the spring. Okay, so before we um, look at this list of things to plant in your fall garden, uh, let's just go over real quick why you would want to plant a fall garden and some of the benefits of planting a fall garden. So for me, one of the nicest things about a fall garden is the most obvious thing which is it's cooler weather <laughs> you don't have to sit under a shade tree you can just enjoy your garden you can get out there and work and weed and maintenance your garden and it's going to be nicer weather you're not going to be so blaze hot another nice thing about a fall garden is the pest pressure is just a lot less severe um, the bugs just aren't as thick and they're not as much of a problem in the cooler weather. We struggle a great deal with squash bugs, <laughs> the bane of every gardener's existence, the dreaded squash bug. Um, so that's probably my main pest, but we also have cucumber beetles and um, also I get a lot of blister bugs. Um, those run rampant here. So in the fall, you just don't have to deal with that pest pressure as much. The cooler conditions can actually improve the flavor of your vegetables as well. So that's not as obvious of a reason to plant a fall garden, but for those of you who garden because you just love the flavor of homegrown vegetables and fruits, a fall garden can actually enhance that even more and provide you with even more flavor in your food. And just one last note on the benefits of a fall garden. This one's kind of different, um, but I like it because there are a lot of plants that you can actually leave in the ground in your garden um, into the winter. And I'm talking about a lot of root vegetables like beets, carrots, turnips um, and then of course some things like kale and other other very hardy uh, plants you can you can leave some of those root vegetables in ground and just come out as you need them to harvest them and that's nice for people who don't have like a root cellar or a place to to store stuff or you know you're just overwhelmed with produce and I mean for me that happens sometimes and I just I enjoy that aspect of not having to preserve everything all at once I can just leave it out in the garden and come harvest it when we're hungry for it okay so what to plant in your fall garden let's just 
um, name a few things right off and then I'll put up on the screen an actual list. Um, excellent things to plant in your fall garden. I've got a list here. Cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, your brassicas, and you can direct seed these things. They do better that way actually. Beets, carrots, as I said. Other things you can plant. You can grow potatoes as a fall vegetable. Um, lettuce, collards, mustard, turnips, radish. Um, those are good things to plant. Oh, you got a water gun? Yeah. Okay, do you need to fill it up? Yeah. <laughs> well, go get the water out of your pool. Isn't her Independence Day dress so cute? <laughs> and that handsome man over there too. <laughs> okay. Um, some non-obvious fall vegetables. Um, these are things that are typically associated with a summer garden, but you can also plant summer squash and cucumbers, um, green beans. You can also plant those in your fall garden. Just make sure you have enough growing days left in your season, and we'll talk about that. Figuring out what you can plant in your fall garden. What do you need to look for? You need to look for your first frost date. For me here in Northeast Kansas, I usually just go with like October 11th. And so like today I looked on the calendar, it's July 4th. And so I counted the days from July 4th to October 11th and it was like 98 days. So I have 98 days left in my growing season. So then what are you gonna do? You're gonna take your little seed packet, you're gonna look, okay, this 50 days to maturity. So this um, lettuce, of course, only takes 50 days to grow so I have 95 days left I have plenty of time to grow lettuce in my garden okay so I will put up the list now let's go over it tender crops these things do not want to go through a frost these are your tender crops you've got your beans cucumbers squash pumpkins melons tomatoes peppers eggplant corn okra sweet potatoes Okay, this isn't a comprehensive list, but this is gonna get you pretty far, okay? These are gonna give you some really, a long list of ideas for your garden. Okay, next, next category, semi-hardy crops. We've got beets, potatoes. Now your potatoes, the leaves and stuff above ground might be damaged, but your potatoes underground are gonna be fine. So, Chinese cabbage, collards, bib lettuce, mustard, radish, spinach, there goes the train. Uh, Swiss chard and leaf lettuce. Okay, now your very hardy vegetables are gonna be things like cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, turnips, and kale. And kale is very hardy. Um, kale is one of those things I mentioned that can overwinter. Uh, we have kale that reseeds itself and every spring it just comes back year after year. All right, so I didn't just come outside to give you a lesson on fall gardening. I came out here because I really want to plant a fall garden. And so I'm gonna show you my varieties for those of you who are interested. And then we'll just film a little bit of me planting and come plant with me. Okay guys, so uh, most of these seeds are from Baker Creek and a few of them are from MI Gardener and then I've just got one little packet here from, from like Orschlands or something. So I've got, you know, your typical yellow crookneck squash. I actually really like the straight neck, but I've got those so I'm going to plant them. I've got some Chinese cabbage here, Hilton, and I planted that this spring. It did really good. I've got some Occident green dent corn, Oxican green dent corn. Dent corn is mostly for like livestock, um, but I would like to grow this just to amass some seed. So I've got just a mix of perennial wildflowers from MI Gardener I might sprinkle somewhere. I've got some daikon radishes and um, again, I want to plant these to get a large quantity of seed. Um, a lot of farmers around here, we're surrounded by row crop, like corn and bean country. And some farmers who are trying to do some of the regenerative stuff will plant daikon radishes for like tillage and just to improve the soil. So I want to get a lot of the seed going 
and have just have that on hand got some golden Jenny melons I've never grown melons very well so I don't know what I'm talking about on that hopefully that'll work <laughs> um, I've got some black beauty zucchini classic uh, Armenian yard long cucumbers this is actually a melon but um, supposed to taste like a cucumber and not be bitter at all and they get really big and still not bitter so I've got some of those growing already but I'm gonna plant more I've got some lettuce that I planted again I planted in the spring it did really good this one is marble Marvel of four seasons from MI Gardener and Great Lakes crisp head they did really good and then I've got just your classic Chicago pickling cucumbers okay let's go plant feel like you're too far away. Got some summer squash. Black Beauty zucchini, actually. And we got in here. down in there four five give it a pat right. ladies Chinese cabbage and maybe some lettuce. I think I'm just gonna broadcast this a little bit in this last little square I've got here of garden and we'll see how that does. I'm gonna get as tidy with it. Let's just drop our seeds around. Some more lettuce here. I'm gonna add. Let's do Marvel of Four Seasons. Just broadcast some of that in there too. rough that up with our hoe. Just wanna get some good contact with the dirt. Doesn't have to be perfect.
Okay guys, I found another shade tree. <laughs> it's definitely feeling like July. It's really hot out, but as I'm planting my fall garden here in the midst of the heat, I'm just thankful for Independence Day and what it represents. I can hear some fireworks going off right now. It's pomp and parade, a celebration. And I can be thankful to come out here and have the freedom to have my own property where I can till up a garden if I want and I can come out and enjoy safety and peace and not have to worry about being persecuted for my faith in Jesus or being fearful of violence upon my children. We can just come out and enjoy our garden and that is a blessing that many people paid a great sacrifice for us to enjoy. They paid it in blood and families paid losing their loved ones. And I'm just very thankful to live in America. And I've got my Second Amendment shirt on. <laughs> so, just trying to take a moment of gratitude as I'm out in the garden growing food for our family, but um, just very happy to also be growing little patriots too. <laughs> and to all my fellow American patriots, um, if you are proud of our nation, hit that subscribe button because <laughs> you're in our tribe. <laughs> So I tried to plant this big tire as a nice perennial flower garden and look at all those weeds. But do you see that amongst the weeds? <laughs> a black-eyed Susan. I have been wanting to get black-eyed Susan started for a long time. <laughs> so I think I'm going to save these guys out of this jungle tire. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are you doing, Rupert? Play! Chase him back this way. Okay guys, happy Independence Day and thanks for planting with me.